Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the cover plate for Fire Emblem If or Fire Emblem Fates, which is what it will be called uh, when it comes out uh, in the West. It's really expensive. This cost me 2,700 yen. That's like $25 or maybe more than that. I don't actually know what the exchange rate. Maybe it's like $30. Pretty expensive for a bit of plastic, but looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to try it out on my new Nintendo 3DS. So we're gonna unbox that and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. I have also got the Splatoon cover and I will be unboxing this um, in a separate video which I'll upload as soon as I can. Um, but for now, let's have a look at the um, Fire Emblem Fates new Nintendo 3DS cover plate. Uh, and let's try it on the 3DS as well and show you what it looks like. Alright, let's have a look at the cover plate for Fire Emblem Fates, or Fire Emblem If, as it's known in Japan. Uh, this costs 27, uh, sorry, 2,700 yen, pretty expensive, and that's minus tax. You can see on the back it is number 61 in the set, uh, it still has the Japanese uh, number on it, but I assume that when they print it in the West, it will have the same um, packaging. Let's get this outside of, uh, outside, let's get it out of its plastic prison as soon as possible. Possible. So get rid of the paper, chuck that on the floor somewhere behind me, and get this out of here so you can see it in the flesh, or in the plastic, as it were. That is gorgeous. I can't even... I just can't even. <laughs> That's all you need to know, I just can't even. Look at this! This is insane. There is not another 3DS cover that looks anywhere near as nice as this. I, I really... I, well, yeah, I just haven't come across one that looks anywhere near as good as this. Look at this! So these are all the characters from the Rebirth, I think it's called Rebirth, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, version of the game. Uh, and maybe all the characters are in both games, but maybe this it just focuses on these characters uh, in the Rebirth game. Looks great! So this is the, color, the, the the light side, and this will be on the top of the new Nintendo 3DS. Just check out that detail. I don't know how close I can get before my camera doesn't really focus anymore, but just have a look at that. That is some beautiful, beautiful illustration work. Um, I, <laughs> it just looks great. And it is glossy, um, but not to the point that you would ever... You, I don't think if you put fingerprints on it you would actually see it because um, it has this kind of design. It's not just a plain colour. Uh, but it is shiny, and it will give your new Nintendo 3DS that sheen, that lovely sheen. So I'm just going to put that down there. And this, let's have a look at this. This is the bottom plate. Um, also absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can do a nice zoom in on the faces here. Fire Emblem. Look at that. Whoever the artist is for Fire Emblem is freaking excellent. They are good at drawing. Um, I didn't even notice. This is very, very subtle. You don't even really notice that there are screws here. Um, you can see a little bit that it does say game card and it's got the headphone icon here. That's very subtle. It's fairly subtle, um, but it's, you know, it's, cl it's clearly there. The actual only branding for Fire Emblem itself, the actual title, is only on the bottom cover. I like how they've done that and they haven't put Fire Emblem on the top, mostly because because the Nintendo fans are Nintendo fans, they'll know what it is. Even if they don't own Fire Emblem, they'll know that you own Fire Emblem, and they'll have heard of it. On the back, this is the dark side, so I guess this is the Conquest game. Uh, again, I don't know any of these characters yet because I haven't actually done the gameplay videos. Comes over black and grey on both sides here, a bit of the cloud over there. Let's not waste any time, let's actually put it on the new Nintendo 3DS. So I'm just gonna put that plastic over there to the side, grab my new Nintendo 3DS. I like to put it in in this green cover just because it's kind of fun to see the um, chips kind of uh, sticking out here. Oh, ah, I have to unscrew it. One moment, please. All right, so I've actually done the uh, screws on the back here so I can actually pry this off here. I have to be careful not to uh, touch this area because that's where the uh, capture card for the video capture is on this new Nintendo 3DS. Um, because I had it modified, there is a video for that if you want to check it out. Um, just check on the channel, just look up Cat's Kitty Capture Card for the new Nintendo 3DS and you should be able to find it. That is with the bare bones, naked new Nintendo 3DS on its own. Let's put the top cover on here first. It will go on nine. Nicely like so. Oh, I've got to uh, fold it over, otherwise I can't do it. That's gone on beautifully like so. And let's put the bottom plate on as well. Let's slide that on there, and um, that clicks in place. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Um, you could screw that in 
in. Um, I think if you screw it in, that will get rid of a bit of the bubble here. Um, but not a lot. Actually, no, you actually probably won't do much about the bubble. Uh, there's always going to be a little bit of a bubble on the back there. But there you go. So this, let's just close that up so you can see. This is the front of my white, regular new Nintendo 3DS with the Fire Emblem Fates cover. Looking absolutely fantastic. That's just gorgeous. And what's interesting is because it's white and black, I think it will look beautiful on either the white new Nintendo 3DS or the black new Nintendo 3DS. It will look really good on either. I really don't think um, having the white or the black one will matter in that case. Uh, on the back, you can see it just looks gorgeous, even with the white outline. I think on the black one, it'll be nicer on the bottom. On the white one, it'll be nicer on the top. Ah, I can just imagine it. I can imagine that looking really good. If anyone does get the get the get um, these cover plates and they put it on their black new Nintendo 3DS, do uh, tweet me a photo. I'd love to see what that looks like. For now, um, you can see mine. It's the white version looking absolutely beautiful. Just on the sides, you get a look at the white and the black and the white and the black on the other side as well. This is what it looks like uh, opened and this is what it looks like mostly opened and completely opened and obviously completely on the front like this. And I guess usually, usually, usually when you see people playing it, uh, it'll be like this. Mostly, the most important part really, in my opinion, is probably this part. People won't see this part so much unless they're, I don't know, looking up at your 3DS. Maybe they're sitting down and you're standing up on the train. They might see the bottom part. But really, I think the part that people are going to see the most is this one on the top. And it just looks perfect. I was a little annoyed that it cost so much when I bought this, but now that I've got it on here, I don't mind at all. I mean, just showing showing just getting my 3ds looking this great just makes me so happy could not be happier i couldn't be happier you know what really annoys me by the way e3 or apple or any company that does a pr presentation recently they're all saying we couldn't be more excited and that really grinds my gears that everyone is saying the exact same thing. So anyway, here it is. I couldn't be more excited to show you this cover plate on my new Nintendo 3DS. Fire Emblem Fates. I will be doing gameplay for this game uh, very, very soon. So do look out for the gameplay videos. Until then, you've seen the cover plate looking pretty mint. Absolutely lovely. Um, and I will be making um, another video soon, obviously, for the Splatoon cover. So do check that out when that uh, goes up online as soon as possible. Uh, until then, until the gameplay videos, don't forget to comment, subscribe, uh, bleh, comment, subscribe, share all the links and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. This is called a kotatsu. Repeat after me, kotatsu. Your finger, your fingertips will get really, really cold. Oh, feels nice and warm. It's really, really good. Happy New Year! Key making with Nihongo Gamer. You, uh, you see something new every day.